Real music, real interviews, real information. That's why we call it Real Gospel with the x man ministry or when you're around people of God, they always say this saying that what God has for you is just for you. <laughs> well, if you subscribe to that notion, you're going to love this song by Marty B. It's called Just For Me. My name is The X-Man and this is Real Gospel. Hallelujah. Something about the way you love me. Something about the way you even covered me, God Something about the way you gave your life And yeah, you did it just for me And I'm so thankful that you did it, yeah Just for me, Something about the way you love me Something about the way So oh. 
Real Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. I'm honored to have uh, this young man of gospel. And I love this quote by you, Marty. Not looking for fame, but looking to affect change within the world through music. I'm talking about yes, the one and only Marty B. And Marty, I'm loving the song just for me. Welcome to Real Gospel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, and so uh, just for me, um, you you definitely, have, you know, in radio, they always have this saying that you don't look how you sound. And so I looked at your bio photo, and you don't look how you sound, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> it, it is a compliment. I was expecting more of a... a uh, a, a churchy look. No, there's nothing wrong with the way you look. You look, you know, you look great. But you know, but it's good. You can, re you are very relatable to this this new generation of people. How old are you, my friend? I'm 24 years old. Yeah, yeah. You look. That's what I'm saying. You look. You 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 represent this generation, this Judah generation, this college generation. These folk just graduated from high school generation. You're speaking directly <laughs> to them. So before we talk about your music, um, and I want to let the people know that you're a native of uh, Champaign, Illinois, and your musical influences yes, are Pastor Smokey, Norfolk, Malley Music, and Daniel Johnson. Uh, you've had a, a television debut with my good friend, the Dr. Bobby Jones, and um, you've yeah. been on Impact <laughs> TV. Uh, you've opened for Jonathan McReynolds, Brian A. Wilson, and Kenny Lewis at One Voice. And so... Since you've got some of these um, these these great people of God that that have been in your life either directly or uh, influential spirit wise, um, how did you? What's the story behind your glory? How did Marty B uh, first become introduced to the concept of an all knowing, all present God? What happened? Well, I mean, started at a young age. I mean, I'm, I was brought up in the church, of course, just like many other singers and stuff like that, but. Um, I come from a, a musically influenced family, so like you know, I got my pops. He's a, he's been my vocal mentor and and spiritual mentor for all, all I can remember. Uh, funny thing is, I mean, I didn't really my first my first love really really wasn't singing. I was you know I wanted to be like a, a, a musician. I, I started playing the drums and I you know I I played sports and stuff like that, but. Um, my pops, you know, him being connected with God and both my parents being connected with God, they saw furthermore my purpose and, you know, my purpose being, you know, being the artist that I am today. Um, and it wasn't like, you know, my relationship with God wasn't something that they forced on me. It was kind of like growing up behind them, following them and seeing how they love God and seeing how they, you know, their passion for God was so real and authentic. You know, it pushed me to want to wanna seek him for myself. So, I mean, it became it, it became a personal thing, you know, and so I was able to kind of seek him, and then the music and songs begin to come, and, and that's where, you know, that's what Marty B was birthed out of, just, just true passion and authenticity, you know, with following Christ. Wow. So what led you to start singing? Was that something that was in your heart? I mean, when did you realize that singing was an outlet? Well, singing, it actually... Uh, it started at, it started again when I was young, you know, uh, being, being brought up, you know, when it comes down to, you know, having like family events or school talent shows, it was always like, well, you know, go ahead and sing, here, sing this, all my friends knew I could sing, but it was like, it didn't become like a passion until I saw the effect that it had on people, um, how, how, like every time I get down, people say how they were blessed or how, you know, it touched them or they needed to hear, you know, those words or, you know, and, and that stuck with me, at, you know, throughout like all these years, just seeing how, you know, it, it did affect change within people and seeing that how my gift that God gave me was that powerful. And so it just kind of was like, wow, yeah, this is what I love to do, you know, and, and, and it makes me happy to see that I'm able to bless somebody else. Mm. And you're blessing other people. So when did your musical influences really become a part of your growth? Like uh, Pastor Smokey Norfolk and Mally Music. How how do they and how do they influence you? Okay, like 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 you have the great Pastor Smokey Norfolk. I mean, you know, he 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 been working with um, I Need You Now um, and songs of that, and then you got Molly Music with. Uh, you know, he said, Mark, all the glory belongs to you, that Yahweh. Um, those those influences just 
watching them be secure in who they are as an artist and secure in who they are as a Christian, um, it just, it really sparked something on the inside of me saying like, oh, wow, you know, this, it's, it's cool to be a Christian. Like, of course, they're like two different, you know, if we compare Molly and, and Smokey, you know, Smokey is, you know, he, he's, he's churchy and, you know, he, he gonna give it to you and then Molly is gonna give you that more urban style, but they both bring Christ within, you know, their ministry and what they do. So it really stuck out to me saying like, okay, yeah, I can sing to, you know, the church or to the older crowd and give them Jesus, but I can also sing to people of my generation and give them Jesus. So it's like, you know, those influences, you know, Daniel Johnson, Clark Sisters, all of these amazing artists that we do have, have, you know, inspired me to just be secure in who I am. Wow. So that, that's that's awesome. How did you end up getting a record deal? Walk us through that process, because, you know, some people will say, well, it happened for you overnight. Maybe it did, but, you know, but how did you end up, you know, being able to record just for me? Well, being being an independent artist that I am, um, you know, it was actually, I wrote this song a couple of years ago. I came home, <laughs> I came home from school and like it was, it, I sat at the piano and I just started singing it. And it was like, like I felt that God gave it to me. I knew he gave it to me. And I, I, I went to my pops and I'm like, hey, this, this song, like I want you to hear it. And so he heard it, he was like, oh yeah, you have to record it. Um, went through the process, I mean, went through the process of kind of getting it going and getting it recorded. And a couple years down the line, you know, finding the right people to be connected to. Because I mean, like people say, you know, you can you can do this overnight, or you can get it one way. But I mean, I feel like when some, when God gives you something, you have to do it, and and it has to be done like in decency and in order. But it has to be done the right way. You can't just throw anything out there that God gives you. You have to, you know, you gotta put some value on it. And so, like that's that's basically what happened. It took a couple of years, but like God connected me with some amazing uh, musicians in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, shout out to my producer Curtis Lindsay uh, in Chicago uh, who produced the song um, and it just it all came together and like I mean when I say like when you when you're connected to the right people when you're connected to the people that God needs you to be connected to everything will come together mm, mm, mm. that's awesome so you you came home from school was it a high school or college I was in high, I, I was in, actually no, I was uh, in college at the time. Okay. I, I was uh, in college and, you know, doing, coming home and, at, you know, just, I don't know, I sat down and you know how, you know, we have moments with God. Yes. Like, to where we, we, we actually, you know, have that moment to where we're listening to him and where he's speaking. And me, I'm a singer, so like, you know, I, I that's where he connects with me at. Um. And he just, like, I sat down, I started playing, and then the song just came, and it just flowed. And, it, and, and I had to record it, like, on my phone, and I'm like, hey, Dad, you got to hear it. <laughs> like, I want you to hear it. Tell me what you think about it. You know, and, and that's where it all formed out, and he was able to, you know, we, me and him both, like, kind of, like, help with, you know, the arrangements and all that and kind of putting it in place. But, like, it just became, it became such a, a, a testimony for me because, I mean, you know, thinking about what God did all for me. You know what I'm saying? He did, you know, he died for me. He sacrificed his life. He gave his only son, you know, just for me. And that's what the song is about. It's a personal song, but I think it's a personal song that everybody can sing. Wow. So when you say just for me, I mean, so you recorded that on your phone? I, I no, my, basically what I did when I first, when I first, when God first gave it to me, I recorded it on my phone to kind of like mm -hmm. get the basis of it. And then um, I, I gave it to the producer and everybody and let them know basically what I needed and what I wanted. And they just ran with it. And it's the masterpiece that it is today. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I get that. I mean, sometimes, you know, I, I'm in ministry as well. So sometimes God will give you something and, you know, you don't have time to write it down. You might be driving. So right. <laughs> uh, thank God for technology. So you hit that record button on your phone and boom, <laughs> you just let it rip. And right. yeah, yeah, so you can keep the moment, you know, because there's nothing, nothing worse than when God gives you something, and then when you finally sit down, you go, "Oh man, what was that? Oh man, right. oh no!" <laughs> there it is. Right, that's the truth. Amen. So your dad, is your dad a pastor? 
Yes, my dad. My dad is a uh, prophet. Uh, prophet John Brown. And shout out to him. That's my man. That's my manager. That's that's my my spiritual advisor. That's my mentor. That's my dude. That's my everything. Amen. So uh, tell everybody uh, the name of your church and the service times in case they're in. Uh, it's, it's it's in Illinois, correct? Yeah. Right. Right now, I like I, I attend the the Vineyard Church in Champaign, Illinois. Um, uh, my dad is actually, uh, uh, he travels around and he preaches the gospel. Um, if you ever, you know, want to look him up or me up, just hit me up at my email, uh, Music at gmail.com, or hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Music, And it's Money B Music, M-U-Z-I-K is how you spell music. Amen. Amen. And before I let you go, my brother, in the closing moments, what advice can you give uh, individuals who are, you know, the independent route is more than likely the route they're going to have to go. Um, they, they've got music yeah. in their heart. They want to do something. It might be writing music. It might be um, singing or, well, you know, whatever. What advice can you give someone who, uh, who who is sort of in that vein where you were? Okay. Um, the greatest advice I can give to someone in, in in that area is to be patient and understand that if God gave it to you, know that he will not give you anything and turn away from it. You have to believe in his word, believe in what he said. If you know for a fact that this is what God told you to do, don't stray away from it. Keep trusting, keep believing, and go after it. Don't just go after your dreams, but go after the vision that God gave to you because you have to understand it's not just for you, it's for somebody else. So don't give up on the world. Keep pushing. Amen. And that's why I've got to repeat this quote because what you said is so true, man of God. Not looking for fame, but looking to affect change within the world through music. And when and that reminds yes, me of that scripture, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And I, I firmly live I try to live that way and I try to to to, to uh preach that way and teach that way if you if, if you just put God first in all that you do and that's what my pops taught me that everything else will follow and so uh, the evidence of that is your music ministry which is taking off all over the world uh, Marty B it's been an honor and a pleasure having you on Real Gospel before I let you go can you tell the listeners one more time how they can find you how they can find your music where they can get it from and just you know how they can reach you Sure can, definitely. Everybody, you can find me on Facebook. That's facebook.com backslash Marty B Music, M-A-R-T-Y-B-M-U-Z-I-K. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and all other social media at, uh, outlets at Marty B Music. That's at M-A-R-T-Y-B-M-U-Z-I-K. For booking, it's Marty B Music at gmail.com. Hit me up. I'll be looking for you. And you can find my single on iTunes or Google Play entitled Just For Me by Marty B. Amen. And not only are you gonna are you gonna get when you when you book him, are you gonna get a great a uh, gospel artist, but you're also gonna get a man of God who might speak a word, preach a word, breathe the word of the Lord into your ministry. Amen, my brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna get the total package. Look, Marty, it's been an honor and a pleasure having you on Real Gospel. You have nothing but our love and support from this program. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Real gospel shout out to you guys. Much love and respect to you guys. And I'm looking forward to this relationship going even further. Amen. You're listening to Real Gospel with the X-Man.